Hi everyone. I apologize for oh, there's my shadow. Let's see if I move. Um, for the kind of poor quality of this video. Um, I don't normally do videos like this where you can't see my face, but I have a giant sty and a pink eye and a rash on the left side of my face. So I'm super sexy and don't really want to be seen. But I did want to share these products. So I don't think I'll be doing videos like this anymore, but, you know, it's a one-time thing. So I ordered from Sugar Candy Beauty Bar. This is actually two... Sorry. This is actually two um, separate orders I made combined into one. They had a sale that was like something crazy, like 65% off. And I had seen reviews of this site at or on Makeup Alley, and I decided to order. I was looking for some sugar scrubs, and I'd had a really negative experience with another site that I won't mention. And, yeah, so anyways... I placed my order. Um, I got my first order four days or five days after I ordered. And the second order, which was during the sale, I got eight days after I ordered. So pretty decent turnover time. And the post was quick, too, so that all worked out in my favor. And I did email and ask a question of the owner, and she got back to me within maybe two hours. So... A plus on that. Anyways, so I'm going to tell you about the products I got and maybe a little bit about what I think so far. Um, I got one of their Dessert Whips Body Soufflés. I don't know why it is so unfocused. My camera is showing ugly. Anyways, I got one of these Sexy Dessert Whipped Body Soufflés. And this is their um, lotion, basically. And this is in my favorite beach towel. And this smells so good. It smells like coconut and maybe some fresh linen kind of scent. It smells like you're laying on a tropical island on your fresh from the wash and dryer um, beach towel. It even kind of smells like sunshine. I really like this. And the lotion itself is really soft and it absorbs quickly, but it actually moisturizes my skin very well. So I will definitely be repurchasing some of these. I don't remember the price offhand of anything, so I will just put it in the description bar. And of course, you can always go to the site and look yourself. But, you know, anyways. So that is the Dessert Whips Body Souffle. Um, I'm trying just to see real quick. These don't contain... Oh, they do. They do have parabens and... That noise you hear is Cosby playing in a box. So, yeah, they do have parabens, but, you know, I don't know. Uh, next is their, su their Sexy Sugar Whip Scrubs, and these are obviously their sugar scrubs. And they all have kind of this layered appearance, and they come in a jar. This is called Queen of Hearts. This one looks like it's been used, and I'm not sure if that's the case. I haven't used it, but... Maybe it's just the way it's settled. This has a nice, like, subtly sweet scent. It kind of, it's very mature smelling, but still sweet. And I'm not sure if it's going to show up, but there are some glitters. It's not going to show. Glitters as well as larger pieces of the turbidado, turbinado sugar. Next is California Sunshine and Sugar. And this one is really pretty. It's yellow with orange swirls inside. And then it has purple. This one, you can really see the glitter. Look at that. Um, I'll put the scent descriptions in the, in the information box as well because I don't remember them. But this smells like lemon and sugar. It smells, there's almost like a baked quality to it, which I wasn't expecting. Like, like lemon bars. Um, yeah, it smells really nice. It's very light, but not, or I guess you'd say it's very subtle. It's still fragrance, but it's very light, and it's a refreshing scent. I can't wait to use that one. The next scrub I got is 
Bahama banana cotton candy. And this one is yellow and white swirled. And then you can see it has purple and blue. I don't know, the blue's not really showing, but it's about there. Looks so nice. There is mascara on my finger. Anyways, this one smells like banana snow cones. I'm not really getting much of the cotton candy, but I get a lot of banana, and it smells really good. It's not quite Laffy Taffy banana, but it's, yeah, it's, ni it's a nice scent. Next is Forever Fun in the Sun, and this is pink and lighter pink swirls. And then there's some orange on the top and a lot of glitter. That one's really sparkly. This one smells like... I'm not really sure. It has a lot of citrus, I think. I don't know. I, I don't really know about that one. I haven't decided if I like it yet. It's really pretty to look at, and I'm sure I won't dislike it on my body. Wow, Cosby is intensely playing in the box now. Um, next, I got Bippity Boppity Boo, and this is blue and white and purple with lots of glitter. And this smells like melons. I think I've had a product that smells similar to this because I keep... I hate that feeling when you know you've smelled something before and you can't place it, but maybe, you know, it kind of smells like a melon air freshener in a good way. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want you to think it's gross, but yeah. Um, I don't know um, if you can tell that there's different collections of scents, um, like the Bippity Boppity Boo and the Queen of Hearts are from one of her collection or one of their collections having to do with fairy tales. And then this one, well, the other ones, the Cotton Candy, Forever Fun in the Sun, and California Sunshine and Sugar, as well as my favorite beach towel are from her summer collection, which I think is kind of obvious. This one was brought back for a limited time, and it's called Mistress of the Mansion. And I believe this was released around Halloween, and there's purple and blue and some lighter purple swirls in this jar. And then the top is excuse me, the dark purple with uh, glitter. This smells like <clears throat> musk and maybe some amber. I don't know. I, I'd seen a lot of really positive reviews about this one, and so I was expecting to really like it because I really like musky and amber and dark scents. But this one kind of smells dusty. Um, I have not used it, so I'm not sure if maybe in the shower it'll be different. But it's, um, I don't dislike it. I just don't, I don't know. Maybe, like, in the winter or the fall I'll like it a little bit better. And then they included um, three samples with each order. So I have, oh, I did, I'm sorry, I did get another scent. It was the Enchanted Poison Apple or something along those lines. And I hated it. It was really, really pretty. It was pink and red swirled. But it smelled kind of like the Bath and Body Works Winter Candy Apple and hairspray. So I hated it. I gave it to my sister. And I think she likes it alright. Well, at least she likes it better than me. So anyways, they include three scents, or three samples in each order. I used one of the scents I got, it was about, it was like Monsters Mash or something like that, and it was bright green and really, really sweet. It was almost sickly sweet, but when I took it in the shower, more of the undernotes kind of came out and lessened that sweetness. So that one is missing. Um, it left my skin really moisturized and really, um, it left that kind of moisturizing layer, and it was really nice. I shaved my legs with it, actually, so... Anyways, uh, this one is called Enchanted Tea Party at Dark. And this one is from her Alice in Wonderland collection. And this one is one of my favorite scents out of all of the scents I have. It smells like tea. 
and something fruity, but it's really, really nice. I'm going to definitely, definitely order a full size of this. It smells so good. Next is Saint Tropez Paradise. And this is like another light blue with glitter. And I don't like this one at all. It smells like cleaning products. And I don't know. You know what it smells like? This is kind of gross, but I buy um, scented cat litter. And it smells almost just like the cat litter I buy. I don't like that one at all. Um, next is Sexy Girls Love Ice Cream. And I kind of dented the container here. This one kind of smells like Candles by Victoria's um, Hot Buttered Rum Candle, if you're familiar with that. Very, very sweet. I can't even imagine using that one. Ugh. Next is um, Sugared Marshmallow Pecan Pie. This smells so good. It smells like butter pecan ice cream. I smell like a salty pecan. And then the really sweet marshmallows. I almost smell almond. I really like this one as well. I'm going to order something else in this scent. And then the last sample I have is Dark Fantasy. And it is black and it has multicolored glitter. And in real life, this is so pretty. It looks like Urban Decay's Oil Slick Eyeshadow. And I, I think it's so pretty. Like when I open it up, I'm always moving it back and forth in the light. So anyways, this smells like like musky baby powder. Not musty, musky. It smells maybe a little bit of incense. I don't know. It's really sexy. So I think I'll probably order something in that scent as well. Um, yeah, all in all, <clears throat> I'm pretty ecstatic with my order. seems like the last couple E. Taylor bath um, sites I'd ordered from I was pretty disappointed in, but this this has kind of like renewed my faith in E. Taylor's, so I'm definitely going to order from them again, and I would highly recommend them. Their shipping time was super quick, their communication was great, and their prices are very reasonable, and I think the quality of their products is pretty good. A lot of times when I get E. Taylor bath products, I, I feel kind of gypped, like, I don't know if you remember, I did a video about some e -tailer lotions I had purchased and they were so faintly scented and it was basically just like unscented Jergens lotion with some with like a drop of scent thrown in and this this lotion is not like that at all um, it's really moisturizing and springy the only thing that I do not like about these is the labels are not um, waterproof so in the shower it's going to be kind of messy I mean I can smudge them a little bit with my finger, but small complaint, I'll just peel them off before I take them in the bath, 